questions. Um, we have um, um, uh, all of these operations are commutative and associative. So these are properties that we expect from um, normal arithmetic, uh, but it turns out they also hold here. Uh, it turns out that uh, with a couple of extra, with a couple of extra um, uh, properties, which also hold in this case, this is called a finite field. So if you can define two operations like this, uh, like addition and multiplication, Show that they're commutative, associative, and multiplication distributes over addition. That's called a finite field. In a finite field, all of the operations that we're familiar with, basically, it's it's like a little uh, a little version of arithmetic that we're familiar with. So you can do things like we're, we're, what we're going to do with this is we're going to all in mod two. We're going to do things like uh, matrix multiplication, which still works. Okay, so we form a parity bit mod two. That up there. Now, how do we detect errors? Actually, uh, let me specify, this is perhaps obvious, but let me make sure. Uh, we transmit uh, B1, B2, and so on, BK, BK plus 1. So clearly, this, is a, this, this sequence that we're transmitting has redundancy because BK plus 1 is a function of B1 through BK. So I don't get to choose uh, BK plus 1. BK plus 1 has to be specified for me. So in other words, there's redundancy in BK plus 1, and not all uh, possible binary strings are valid code words. So with that in mind, if I receive an invalid code word, then an error must have occurred. In other words, at least one bit error must have occurred. Okay, so in this case, In the single parity check code, it turns out there's a simple criterion for determining whether a code word is valid or not. Does anybody know what it is? Well, I mean, obviously, you could just calculate B1 through BK, take it mod 2, and then check to see if BK plus 1 matches with that. Uh, but what does that mean in practice? Basically, it means, um, well, if B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus so on up to BK mod 2 is equal to BK plus 1, if this is true, in other words, if at my receiver this is true, then no error has occurred. 